I'm gonna take a minute at the beginning of this video to look at two STEM products. One of these products involves building circuits and the other one involves playing math games. One of these products has a problem. Let's see if you can guess which one it is. Does the product have established learning goals? Is it appropriate for students with different abilities? Is there some guidance about how to use the product to facilitate learning? At this point, you can probably tell how I feel about these products. Tiny Polka Dot has well-established learning goals and reasonable ways of achieving those goals. Snap Circuits is more like uh, the typical STEM product that I see. On the one hand, it's really well designed. It's a good user experience, right? The, the, the pieces snap together really nicely so you know when you've made a connection and there's no threat of like uh, being electrocuted or something like that. On the other hand, there's almost no thought put into how students are going to learn from using this product or even what they are going to learn in the first place. When I started building these circuits with my son, a bunch of questions came up. Why is the light red when the piece is oriented this way, but yellow when it's oriented the other way? Why is the light dim in this circuit design and brighter in this circuit design. Unless you know something about circuits already, it's impossible to answer these questions with this product. The example projects in the guidebook are just ready-made circuit designs. So you can follow the instructions to make a circuit, but that doesn't tell you anything about how it's working or why it works the way it does. If they were interested in teaching basic circuit design, one way of doing that would be to use contrasting examples so they would build, say, a series circuit and then a parallel circuit, and then they could think about why it works the way it does in each one of those examples. Or you could incorporate building challenges. So, for example, you could ask the student to build a circuit where the, you, they have to use the light, but the light has to be dim. Right? That gets them thinking about how to build a circuit to achieve a specific result. Actually, Pretty much any additional information about circuitry and electronics would improve the product. Like a lot of STEM products, this product focuses on the engineering aspect of STEM. So students make things, which is cool. That's awesome. Making things is fun. But what students have done to make those things is just follow a series of instructions. They have no idea why the circuit works the way it does or what would happen if you, say, made a change. And that's the problem with STEM products. So the next time you are looking at a STEM product, think about what the students are going to learn from making whatever it is they're making and how they are going to learn it. If you can't answer those questions, then chances are it's not a very good product. Before I made this video, I wanted to do my due diligence. So I went to the Snap Circuits website to see if they had anything uh, available to me that would help me use the product more effectively, like learning resources or advice or, you know, sequences, uh, something. Unfortunately, all I found was this promotional video. Inspire curiosity and ignite confidence with hands-on STEM play that helps kids discover, explore, and most importantly, learn by doing. Did you notice that the motto of the company that makes Snap Circuits is learning by doing? Well, I have a video coming out in a few weeks on this very topic. When is learning by doing effective and what do we even mean by learning by doing. So if you don't want to miss that, you can uh, hit the subscribe button, bell notification, like, comment, do all the things, and I will post a link to that video in the description and in a pinned comment when it comes out. Until next time, I will see you. Thanks for watching.